Alrighty. I'm going to give it a couple minutes because I'm sure uh, we'll have some more people jump in here. But while we're waiting, I'll let you guys take a look at all the possibilities. I've always liked tops because they give you every idea of what you could possibly pull. Probably one of the most frequent cards I've pulled, and it's not even really the... Um, it's not even the easiest one to pull, but it's that Magenta Speckle out of 149 packs. I pulled multiple of those. Honestly, I think I've only pulled maybe one negative, which is supposedly easier to pull, so. I don't know. Home of the Rookie Autograph. We did pull an autograph last, I guess it was last week we did this break. I wish I had a decent break, I think three or four of the five boxes either had an autograph or some sort of numbered card of some some sort but I think a ton of people be in here tonight really for either break um, usually weeknight like leading up to a work day breaks are a little bit slow uh, people usually just like watch them in the morning or on lunch break the next day so I'll give another 30 45 seconds and then we'll go ahead and bust the first box and get started I'm getting a little antsy ready to start ripping some some packs Really excited for the uh, football break. I, w I love opening those boxes with they have a guaranteed autos like the Aspire does. Hoping we can find some autos out of here tonight. Anyways, enough jibber jabber. A uh, good thing about YouTube is you can jump around in the live if you got to go back and watch something. So we will go ahead and get started. For those that jump in a little bit later, they like said they can always skip around if they like. Alrighty, best of luck to you guys. I will usually get one prism refractor per box. I think they're like one in eight packs. I'm hoping those can be some, some decent cards for us this evening. But here we go. Jose Ramirez. Got a Christian Javier rookie for the Houston Astros. Uh, Adonis Medina. Nice refractor rookie for the Phillies. Let me get my stacks set up here. And Alec Baum, rookie for the Phillies. So, uh, Phillies pack there. Jock Peterson. A little bit outdated with the team there. Garrett Cole. And we got a Kirillov rookie for the Twins. And Manny Machado, pink refractor. I like it. Oh, he's got the sideburns now. And that photo there. I watched a doc like a mini documentary about how everybody hates Manny Machado the other day. I didn't realize he was I knew he had some controversy, but he's done some wild things in his career. Paul Goldschmidt, Jose Abreu, uh, Chris Davis, and a sepia of Hinjin Ryu for the Blue Jays. Boy, if you're just flipping through cards, you not paying attention, you must stake a normal refractor for a sepia, especially if the lighting was weird. I got George Springer, rookie of Tyler Stevenson. Got a Vlad Grill Jr. baseball insert. These are like one and 14 packs, I believe. And there's a Jake Cronenworth rookie for the Padres. Giancarlo Stanton, uh, Shogo Akiyama, got a Reese Hoskins refractor, and a pink rookie of William Contreras for the Braves. So not too bad so far. We got three packs left in this first box. We got a couple 
rookie parallels. And I've had some boxes where we don't even get a rookie parallel, so that's nice. Got a Vlad baseball insert. I'm pretty sure those are one and uh, 14 packs. I'll try to verify that here in a second, but I usually pull maybe like two or three of these per break, which would make sense. That's what I meant to do. I was, I was checking the score on that Packers Bears game. I think the Packers were up by like two scores in the fourth or something. I was trying to figure out how it ended. You know, Brett Favre owns the Brett Favre. Aaron Rodgers owns the Bears, so I figure there's going to be a little bit of animosity with that game. Uh, Albert Pujols. He had Brandon Crawford. Uh, Dean Kremer. Rookie for the Orioles and a Kyle Lewis future stars. Nice one there for the Mariners. Uh, Matt Olson. Joy Yallo. Got a hey, I was just talking about how I haven't pulled one of these very often. Uh, back to back, Joy Yallos. This is one of those negatives. Those are sweet looking. They're not numbered. Um, they are like a somewhat of a short print. I think it's like one out of 131 packs, I believe. So it's, they're pretty hard to pull. And they got a sepia of Andres Jimenez for the Mets. Uh, he's got two different team cards in here. He's got this one, his like regular card that goes to the Mets. And then his 35th anniversary card actually goes to the... Indians, so I guess they made a portion of this set before his trade happened or something. And then they finished out with the other team. I don't know. It's kind of weird they didn't update both at the same time. <clears throat> Alrighty, last pack is Austin Meadows. Anderson Tejada, rookie for the Rangers. Our prism refractor is not too bad. It's a pitcher, but it's a nice one. Nice Ian Anderson. Prism refractor for the Braves. And then we got a Luis Robert, 35th anniversary for the White Sox. So, let's see. I guess the negative would have been our highlight. Probably for the first box there as far as like odds of pool. So no autos, no numbered cards, but it's like a nice negative with some other stars and rookies. Not too bad. Everything I have from my childhood is basically tops. I think I had some victory cards too, like victory baseball. But everything is pretty much tops. Debbie Garcia rookie. Hinjin Ryu. Oh, I opened it backwards. Prism Refractor in the first pack. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nice. And Xander Bogart's uh, 35th anniversary insert there. Well, that makes sense. Well, the Prism Refractor was first because I opened the uh, packs or I stacked them backwards. We got Mike Clevenger, a Refractor of Jorge Alfaro. We have an Aqua Rookie. Oh, very nice. Sweet. Nice Dylan Carlson there. And Leo Di Tavares. Sepia. That was a decent pack. First two packs have been really nice. I can't remember... I think the Aquas are $2.99. We'll go ahead and get top of it and then take a look at it. I'm trying to remember. Oh, that went in there nice and smooth. Very nice. Oh, they're $1.99, excuse me. Maybe that's not an Aqua then. 
I get I always second guess myself, but uh, yeah, it's gotta be an aqua. Greens are out of ninety nine and blues are one fifty. Aqua's listed right after that, so one out of two hundred and sixty four packs. And to happen upon one of the better rookies from the the year, that's an awesome pull for the Cardinals. 128 out of 199. I like it. If I had a favorite team in the majors, it would definitely be the Cardinals. I think that's the only uh, field I've actually been to. Maybe like two or three games, but we really don't live close to any teams. We're about five hours from any of the Texas teams and about the same up to St. Louis. P. Alonzo, Max Kepler, Dallas Cachell. And Luis Robert, Future Stars. I like the Future Stars this year. Some years I don't really care for the design of the car, but I like it. <clears throat> uh, Luis Diaz, rookie for the Marlins. Mike Moustakas. Uh, we got Ryan Yarborough and a pink. Xander Bogarts for the Red Sox. Weird, they cut out the cellos this year. Now, the cellos had the... I believe it was the cellos had the pinks last year. So, there's Kyle Tucker. Uh, I got a shirt in Apostle Refractor for the Rangers. Rangers doing all right. Oh, gosh. Another baseball insert of Vigro Jr. We got a Joey Bart 35th anniversary rookie. Well, that really makes me look dumb whenever I say the baseball inserts are one of 14 packs. And we pull the exact same one, not five packs later. I'll flip the box over here in a second, and we'll look at that. I'm pretty sure these are like one out of every two boxes, basically. But, eh, stuff like that can happen, I guess. I like breaking tops chrome. I don't really like it like the f the first year of everyone's rookie year. Like you just never know who's gonna be exciting. So it's not really fun. Like we were breaking tops chrome. I don't know, probably two, three, four months ago. And it's like you know Carlson was doing okay. I think um, who else was? There's somebody else that was playing decent. But like. It's got a little stickiness inside of it. None of the rookies are just like, you know, oh my goodness, that guy's going to be a superstar type deal. Like, nobody's having, like, Vlad Guerrero second year type seasons. So, I mean, I like breaking Topps Chrome baseball or any baseball for that matter when, you know, every time you open a pack, you got a chance to get somebody who's, you know, very exciting to watch play or having a great year or whatever. But there's a nice rookie of Cabrian Hayes. Uh, Keston Hira, Tariq Scooball rookie, and Evan Longoria Sepia for the Giants. Uh, Lucas Giolito. Got a Juan Soto. I've mentioned this plenty of times. I'm not a fan of the horizontal cards. I always sell like short prints of any kind and stuff like that, but just the base horizontal cards annoy me for some reason. There's a Christian Pache rookie and Ramon Laureano pink. All right, last pack of this box. We've been doing all right so far. I really like that Carlson Aqua. Then you find an auto eventually, hopefully. Spencer Howard rookie, Starling Marte. Hey, there's a nice one. Nice refractor of Jazz Chisholm. He's kind of been up and down, but he should be pretty decent. And a Jacob DeGrom, 35th anniversary. He was all anybody talked about for a good portion of last season. Rightfully so. Dude was, dude was throwing out of his mind. All right, let's look at baseball odds, because like I said, I'm... Base, uh, where was it? 
baseball insert. Right there in the middle. Is one in 14 packs. So I'm not joking, I guess, but like I said we pulled two in 14 packs and it was the same player, so. Or two in 16 packs, I guess. Eh. That's what odds are for. We just beat the odds. That's all that is. I think we're beating odds overall. We got a negative and an aqua and doing all right. Alrighty, Sean Murphy, Corey Seeger, got a JD Martinez refractor. Right, Sean Murphy was a cup card. I didn't even notice that. I'll put that in the sleeve pile. It's not just a base card there. Uh, J.D. Martinez Refractor, and we got a Sepia, I believe, Stain Dunning. The old Rangers i have had some decent breaks in the past. i tell you what, I don't know if you guys can see that. Sometimes you snag a top loader if you got... left attached it didn't melt it off all the way or something I don't know how they make top loaders but be cool to learn JD Martinez uh, Josh Hader Eloy Jimenez and we got Nolan Arenado 35th anniversary probably one of the first sets where he's actually in a Cardinals gear there Josh Bell, Freddie Freeman, there's a Joe Adele rookie for the Angels, and a Jordan Alvarez pink. That would be like a second year Topps Chrome card. And it's one of those things, like if you go down, if we're 10, 15, 20 years from now, and Joe Adele continues on his path for success, you know, a lot of times rookie cards start getting out of people's price ranges, but this card may be like a dollar now or something, but I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years, people are like, oh, that's vintage now. Second year Jordan Pink Refractor. I'll pay 20 bucks for that. You never know. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't buy a lot of singles cards. I, I gotta try to save up money to, to buy boxes to break, but. If I was buying singles cards, that was the stuff I would think about. Jared Walsh, cup card. Uh, Max Muncy. Kyle Schwarber. And a Max Scherzer, Sepia, for the Nationals. He bounced around a little bit the last three years. We do a lot of Pokemon opening with uh, my two little boys, but I don't actually personally collect a ton of sports cards similar to what I said I don't we don't really live close enough to just go out to a game on the weekend and root for a team and feel like we have a, an impact on it so I haven't really found like a narrowed down PC of any sort uh, Austin Hayes uh, Jake Arrieta refractor for the Phillies Prismic Power, Jacob DeGrom, and Sixto Sanchez, rookie for the Marlins. I think uh, Maverick takes up most of the PC. He's a four-year-old, and he PCs anything that says Pokemon on the back of it. So I had some old friends over today, and Immediately went to the drawer and started whipping them all out. So, the extra money we spend on cards is usually Pokemon associated. Shane McClanahan rookie. Marco Gonzalez. Got an Alec Baum rookie uh, with the All-Star Cup emblem there. Always like when the rookies have that. I think Jordan had it last year. I don't know. It gives it like a little extra meaning to me. And a Trevor Story pink refractor. Not a lot happening out of this box so far. Uh, we should have a Prism Refractor still coming up, but Ian Anderson, rookie. 
Lewis Brinson. There's a Joey Bart rookie. And Dylan Cease, future stars. Corey Kluber. Jorge Soler. Our Prism Refractor is... That's another Braves rookie. William Contreras. So you got young pitcher, young catcher for the Prism Refractors on the Braves. And then a Casey Mize Sepia. Not bad there for the Tigers. I think I think I've got enough boxes to do another Topps holiday break. That was pretty fun the other night. Uh, it's a little bit easier to find the uh, the short prints than I thought it was going to be. They actually usually like put them upside down or turn them backwards or they're always like fourth in the in the pack or whatever. So I was worried that break was going to take 2 hours cuz we we'd be just constantly trying to find a short print, but it was pretty cut and dry, so it's a fun break. Usually get like a mem card or an auto. I think we got all mems. Uh, I saw a guy posted today he said he pulled a Jonathan India auto out of like 200 out of his mega. So we'll definitely try another one of those breaks and see see what we can do. Got Eric Hosmer, Raldus Chapman. Got a Tyler Stevenson refractor for the Reds. And Boba Shett Future Stars. <laughs> Whit Merrifield, Alex Bregman, Will Myers, and Nick Cassianos. Uh, Sepia, it is. I think it's him and Eugenio on that card. That's kind of cool. There are a few cards out there that, that are really awesome like that. I think Trout and Otani have one where they're celebrating. That's like an older card, though. I can't remember what year that one is where Trout and Otani are on it. Joey Votto, Javi Baez. Got a Leody Tavares rookie for the Rangers. And there's a Mike Trout, 35th anniversary. Hope Mike Trout comes back, you know, healthy and back to normal and plays pretty much a full season because that's, I think, much needed for baseball. Zach Grinky, Buster Posey, Smoney Grandal, and a Bobby Dahlbeck pink. First basemen are like the big men of basketball as far as, like, uh, prices of their cards. They tend not to get a lot of love for whatever reason. It's like you got to be a shortstop or third baseman or just a crazy good center fielder or something like that. It, was ama it always amazed me how expensive Jordan's stuff was getting last year. I was always looking at his prices because he was... To me, he was just a beautied up designated hitter. I mean, he played in the field some, but where he shined is at the plate. His card prices are expensive. Got a Kevin Newman, Garrett Crochet, uh, Shogo Akiyama Refractor for the Reds, and a Chris Sale Sepia. I don't know what I'm doing over here. I got my sort all jacked up. There we go. Nice sepia for the Red Sox. He came back there towards the end of the year. Otis Guriel Jr. Charlie Morton. I guess Monty Grundall. Baseball insert for the White Sox. And a Casey Mize, 35th rookie for the Tigers. Our last two boxes have been quite a bit slower than the first two so far. Carlos Correa, Rognado Dodor, 
Matt Chapman, Luis Castillo, peak for the Reds. <clears throat> John Means, uh, Jake Arrieta, uh, Prism Refractor, uh, Buster Posey, maybe one of the last cards he has pop out of Tops Chrome. And a Willie Castro Future Stars for the Tigers. Prison Refractor was in the second to last pack that time, so kind of threw me off there. Usually it's in like the very last pack. Christian Avia rookie, Francisco Lindor. Oh, it's because we got two of them. That's nice. Uh, Wilson Ramos. Prism Refractor for the Mets. We got Sepio Ramon Laureano for the Athletics. I don't think I've ever had two Prism Refractors in one box, so I guess we got lucky there. They're one in eight packs, and they literally, every box I've opened except for this one, it's been one Prism Refractor. If you're ever looking, most, I'm sure most of you guys already know this, but if you're ever looking on eBay, um, Panini spells Prism P R I Z M. Uh, Top spells it P R I S M. Now, with that being said, you can, you know, you can find a lot of the listings, P R I S M or whatever. But sometimes you can find steals. If it's like at auction or something like that, where somebody actually types it out as P R I Z M refractor. Because uh, most most people collect them baseball know that it's SM, but if you don't collect it and you're just trying to sell some of your cards, you might not list it correctly. That was one of my favorite things to do for a while, is just go in and type out players' names misspelled and find all these random listings that have, like, no views. I, can't, I found one one time. Oh, man. I think it was, like... Lucas Doncic or something like that. Like, he spelled the last name right, but his first name is Lucas or something crazy. Just all kinds of interesting stuff. I can't remember who all I looked up. I think I looked up Kyler Murray once, too, and they called him Kyle Murray. I don't know. Just some interesting stuff. Got a Ryan Mountcastle rookie. Charlie Morton refractor. A prismic power of Freddie Freeman. Everybody loves that guy. Seems like a good dude. A hey, Ryan Mountcastle, 35th anniversary. Uh, if you're just jumping in here looking for football, uh, we got six or seven packs left of this. We'll do a little recap, and then we'll start the football up. There's Lance McCullers Jr. We got Tanner Houck, rookie for the Red Sox. Chris Paddock, and Luis Arias, pink for the Twins. Uh, Nick Madrigal, Luis Arias, Shinsu Chu, and a Bruce Star Gratterall, future stars for the Dodgers. I do vividly remember one time on eBay, I was searching, doing that thing, trying to find some hidden listings, like, with misspelled names and stuff. And a guy had listed a ja, two Ja Morant rookie cards. He he said there was two. He only took a picture of one in the listing, and he put Ja Morant together. So it was like, Ja Morant. It wasn't like Ja Morant. So, like, nobody was looking at the listing. And he had it way underpriced, too. Ramon Laureano. Trevor Story, Mike Trout, and a Marcelo Zuna Sepia. I didn't buy it. I think I ended up messaging the guy and saying, hey, dude, I'm going to check out your listing. If you guys don't watch a lot of uh, baseball card YouTube videos, or if you do, I would check out the uh, the one guy. I forget his name. Um well, I don't know why I even started that sentence if I didn't know his name. Mm. I 
I think his name is Chris Sewell. Uh, his channel is like baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order or something like that. He just does a lot of eBay research and um, just puts out a lot of interesting content about card deals that he buys and uh, just his life as a dealer and stuff like that. Just kind of interesting. He's very even-toned, chill dude, too. But he's got a lot of subscribers. He got an Andres Jimenez rookie. Kent Ameda. Uh, Matt Chapman refractor for the athletics. And a Joe Adele 35th anniversary rookie. But that guy that I was talking about, he does this series once a week. And he calls it the... Uh, what does he call it? It's basically the deals of eBay. So he's got all of his subscribers will submit like interesting eBay sales that they found for the week. Most of the time it's like really cheap deals and stuff that shouldn't have been. Just really cool to go over them. He goes over usually 10 or 15 on his channel. And a lot of times it'll be like lots of cards that people got for a really good deal and stuff. Marcelo Zuna. Masahiro Tanaka. Paul DeYoung, and you have a pink rookie of Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. I need to double check because I think I'm enunciating his last name wrong. Like Adna. Add an enunciation where it shouldn't be or something. I don't know, I'm not very good at English, I guess. Will Smith, uh, Chris Bryant, ooh, got a blue, hopefully it's an auto, blues are at a 150, I believe, that's not an auto, but it's a nice one for the Rays, Brandon Lau, very sweet looking card, it's like a true blue, yeah, out of 150, very nice, and a Will Smith sepia for the Dodgers. All the different colors that Topps Chrome provides, it really looks good when it hits the team's color. That's a little bit off from the Rays' exact color. It looks really good. 128 to 150. The Orioles, when they get like a true orange or the Rockies get a purple, uh, those usually look pretty good. Unfortunately, <clears throat> right now the Rockies don't usually have a lot of big value guys, but there's a couple guys in the Orioles that would be pretty sweet to get an orange of. Casey Mize, rookie. Got another baseball insert, Jesus Lazardo. Uh, Lorenzo Cain, Prism Refractor for the Brewers. Our last card is a Dylan Carlson, 35th anniversary rookie. I appreciate you guys jumping in this one. I will do a little recap here. Then I'll get set up for the football break. Honestly, we pulled some decent cards. We did not get any autos, unfortunately, but we got some a couple decent numbered cards. I think we had a negative in there as well, but uh, you guys will get to take a look at that here right now. All right, we got a pink Jordan Alvarez, a sepia of Dane Dunning, refractor of Jazz Chisholm. That's a nice one. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Prism refractor, Leody Tavares sepia, uh, Luis Robert Future Stars, Shirt and Postal, Refractor, Baseball Insert of Vlad Guerrero Jr., Joey Bart, Rookie, Dylan Carlson, Aqua out of 199. Got an Ian Anderson, Prism Refractor, Luis Robert, 35th, Kyle Lewis, Future Stars. Got the negative, Joey Gallo for the Rangers. Andres Jimenez, Sepia. Uh, Adonis Medina, Rookie for the Phillies. Nice Refractor there. Alec Baum, 35th, Rookie. Got a Manny Machado, Pink. Another Vlad Guerrero Jr. baseball insert. Jake Cronenworth, 35th rookie. Uh, William Contreras, pink. Honestly, this was a, a pretty good break for not having pulled any autos. Really like that Carlson. Baseball insert of Jesus Lazardo. Got a Prism Refractor, Lorenzo Kane. Dylan Carlson, 35th. Uh, Brandon Lau, nice blue out of 150. 
Uh, Nick Madrigal, pink rookie. Got a Matt Chapman refractor. Joe Adele, 35th rookie. Prismic Power, Freddie Freeman. Got a Ryan Mountcastle, 35th. That's Monty Grandal, baseball insert. Casey Mize, 35th. Buster Posey, Prism Refractor. Uh, Wilson Ramos, Prism Refractor. Tyler Stevenson, Refractor. Future Stars, Bo Bichette. Mike Trout, 35th. Got a Bobby Dahlbeck, Pink Rookie. Uh, William Contreras, Prism Refractor. Casey Mize, Sepia. Prismic Power, Jacob deGrom. Sixto Sanchez, 35th Rookie. And a Max Scherzer, Sepia. Not bad. Like I said, you always want to see an auto. Um, but I'll take those. Nice couple numbered cards in the negative there. Anyways, let's get around to some football here and get it rolling. I'm ready to get to those big auto boxes. We pulled Trevor Lawrence last night, so hopefully we can get some more decent ones tonight. Also got my Kaboom top loaders ready to roll. They're like 75 point. It's usually what they fit pretty good in. You honestly might could get away with like a, if there's like a, I think 55 point makes a top loader maybe. Like 75 point works. Good for the Kabooms. You don't really pull enough to know. I think I pulled two or three in my breaking lifetime. We actually didn't break. We broke very little or no absolute last year. I can't I don't recall exactly how much, but <clears throat> I'm in trouble with here. I might throw I need to drink more water. I just don't like the flavor of it. Maybe starting a couple minutes later than I'd hoped for. Uh, maybe I ran a little bit long on the baseball break. But that's all right. We're here now, ready to roll. I think I'm good to go here. Got these sleeves just in case we get a, a mem card or two as well. We did get a mem card last night out of Absolute. So, all right, without further ado. Let's go ahead and get busy. Let you guys peep the odds real quick if you want to screenshot that. I personally know I've had to look back on a couple different videos in the past to try to figure out if I wanted to buy a certain box or pack because I couldn't remember whether they contain certain cars I was looking for. I looked really hard for uh, gravity feed pack odds. I couldn't find them from last year's absolute. But it turns out there was two different types of gravity feed. One had like 10 cards per pack and one had five cards per pack. I believe the one with 10 had the chance for kabooms and the one for five did not. So kind of weird. But anyways, enough mumbo jumbo. Let's get it rolling. See what we can find. Uh, Levi on Wuzuriki. Javante Williams, rookie. Seth Williams. We got a stargazing Russell Wilson. And get my stack going there. For our base, we got Chris Carson, Baker Mayfield, Matthew Stafford, and DJ Chark. I think we'll be doing Aspire boxes almost every day this week, whether it be little mixers or whatever. So Michael Carter, Frank Darby, got a Caleb Farley rookie, and first quarterback is going to be Zach Wilson. Unsung Heroes, Jason Sanders for the Dolphins. Chase Young. Joe Burrow, and A.J. Brown. I 
Ugh. I don't know why. Sometimes the pack feels a little bit thicker. Maybe it's the Kid Reporter packs that get me all excited. Jeremiah Wasu Koromoa. I gotta watch it because we might have some points eventually in one of these packs. Daz Newsom. Simi Feoko. Got a Davis Mills introductions. Got his uh, college uni there on the right as well. Then we got Randall Cobb. Kyler Murray, Josh Jacobs, and Johnny Smith. Greg Newsom, Christian Barmore, Elijah Moore, and Brevin Jordan. For our rookies there. Then we got a green LaVisca Chenault Jr. D.K. Metcalf, T. Higgins, and Tariq Hill. Boy, those uh, Kansas City Chiefs uh, turned that bus around about six, eight weeks ago. <laughs> and they, I remember screenshots of them being dead last in the AFC West, and now they're riding alone up there. Anthony Schwartz, Shai Smith, got Patrick Sertan, uh, by Storm insert of Javante Williams. Aaron Jones. Nick Bosa. DJ Moore. And Derrick Henry. I let my son play Madden occasionally. Um, I put it on like, it's like Madden 19 or 20 is what we have, but I put it on rookie mode. And he's four years old, so I put on rookie mode, and I give him the Titans. He he plays with Derrick Henry, and he mostly just runs the ball. It's hilarious because he'll bounce off like four or five guys every play, and he just gets so excited. And I tell him, I was like, Derrick Henry's a beast. He's like, man, he's running over everybody. It's just funny to watch. There's a Trevor Lawrence rookie. Got Kadarius Tony, Larry Roundtree, Trey Sermon. And a green Jacob Harris rookie uh, for the Rams. And Brandon Cooks, J.J. Watt, and Darren Waller. A rookie of Tommy Trimble for the Panthers. Mir Smith Marset. Jarrett Patterson, a red zone insert of Odell Beckham Jr. Our base cards, we got uh, Hunter Henry, Russell Wilson, Joe Mixon, and Patty Mahomes. As always, you guys feel free to screenshot kid reporter codes or Whatever you want to do. I don't guess we're going to get a mem card or really anything out of this. Unless this last pack surprises me. Ode Takumbo Ogundei. Uh, I try my best with that guy. Uh, Rashad Bateman. Demetric Felton. And Nico Collins, rookies. Another green parallel. This one's Khalil Mack. TJ Hawkinson, Taysom Hill, and David Montgomery. So that was kind of tough there. I was hoping we at least get like a numbered card or a mem card. An auto or something. The sky fall down, we snag a kaboom. I didn't shed all my luck on the kabooms. We, I had only opened five mega boxes and two blasters, and we pulled two kabooms. Uh, that was very lucky. I felt like that was less than one case of like quantity. Honestly, probably less than the half case of quantity of boxes to have pulled that many kabooms. But since then, we've been a little bit cold. 
on the absolute. The old security tag. Uh, there's a Micah Parsons rookie. Hopefully we can find one of his autos tonight. His stuff is tough to pull. Rondell Moore, Hunter Long, and Des Fitzpatrick for the rookies there. Uh, we got a green for the Packers. Aaron Jones, they showed out a little bit tonight. Josh Allen, Mike Evans, and DeAndre Hopkins. When I stopped watching, the, I think we had to start the first break. I stopped looking up the score. Packers were winning by a couple touchdowns. Or a couple scores. I think they're up by like 10 or 11. I don't know if they end up winning or not. Jalen Camp, Sean Wade. There's the first Trey Lance rookie. We have a Rondell Moore introductions. I think he played at like Purdue or something. Maybe Wake Forest. Where are you plugging? Yeah, Purdue. Uh, Joey Bosa. Marquise Hollywood Brown, Sam Darnold, and Odell Beckham Jr. <clears throat> Joseph Asai, rookie for the Bengals. Tutu Atwell. Upside down, we got Cornell Powell. Elijah Vera Tucker. Uh, by Storm or Shaw Bateman for the Ravens. We got Jalen Ramsey, Visca, and Khalil Mack. Uh, Levi and Wizard, Javante Williams, Seth Williams. And a red zone Lamar Jackson. Kind of a cool photo. Uh, and then we got Miles Sanders, Calvin Ridley, Devontae Adams, and Keenan Allen in the kid reporter. All right, we got four packs left of Absolute. Sometimes these packs get a little fluffy and I can't tell. If we might have a new card or not. If anything, I would say the bottom pack looks like our best chance. Um, I can't hardly tell sometimes. Michael Carter, Frank Darby, Caleb Farley, and another Zach Wilson. So they definitely uh, kind of print the packs the same way. Got a Nick Bosa green. Uh, and then Justin Tucker, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Corey Davis. Jeremiah Owasu Koromoa, Daz Newsom, Simi Feoko, got a stargazing Aaron Donald for our base. It's Nick Chubb, Aaron Donald, James Robinson, and Terry McLaurin. I think there was an there was an uproar whenever old. <laughs> James Robinson got benched. I guess he fumbled once or something. They benched him. I think even Trevor Lawrence said that's something that didn't need to happen. He's the best players on the team. Got Greg Newsom, Christian Barmore, Elijah Moore, Brevin Jordan, uh, Green, Christian Barmore for the Patriots. I wish we could hit a, a decent rookie on one of those greens, like a quarterback or something. Jason Kelsey. That uh, looks like Devin White. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, this is the pack I thought was going to be thick, but I'm thinking it's air at this point. I don't know. We might get lucky here. Oh, maybe we did. We did snag a little mem card. Let's see. Anthony Schwartz, rookie. Got Shy Smith. Boy, when you see that color, you can almost guess who it's going to be, unless it's something random. Something random, but 
That's about as steel as yellow as you can get there. Yeah, old Pat Farmouth. Rookie Force, I believe is what this is. I did not realize he was 55th overall. Second rounder. Uh, not number, but just a cool card there. Nice thick mem card. Those mem cards are always tough on the edges, but they're cool to snag. I'm assuming the close authentic memorabilia is not from any specific game or event, so they're still doing that, I guess. There's a J.C. Jackson Unsung Heroes. That dude's actually a, a little beast. And then for our base, we got A.J. Green, Justin Herbert, Lamar, and Chris Carson. And the old kid reporter. So I absolutely didn't really do a whole lot for us, unfortunately. I did get some rookie QBs and whatnot. Uh, no kabooms. We got one mem card. No numbered cards or autos either, so. Kind of tough there. But we do have... Forty autos coming up, so I get these cards sleeved here. We'll get started with that and cross our fingers. That'll help this firmth go in there a little easier. Yeah, not bad. Always like putting those in there. They're just I don't like holding the loose mem cards. I feel like sometimes they're already beat up enough as it is. Once you get in the case, it's like, that's nice. That's nice. All right. I think we got a couple of Zach Wilsons out of Absolute. Trey Lance. Trevor Lawrence. We should have some mosaic football coming out soon, I would think. I don't know, we gotta be getting close to that. I think they just had mosaic basketball actually, so maybe not too close. Let's see if those will actually stay right there. <clears throat> Alrighty, let me point this down a little bit. And over this way a little room on that side. Maybe that'll work. <clears throat> Alright, so these boxes or these plastic cases have a little seal there I'll flip it over and show you the bottom but the bottom would be the showing you the card I don't know if I can do that without showing you the seal just comes over on that side there maybe you didn't see who that was I don't know all right let's get after it hopefully we can find a a few decent quarterbacks I've had one box before that had Two of the best quarterbacks back to back. I'll take it back. It was Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields, but they're top tier, right? All right, what's the best way to do this? This pack feels like it might have extra cards in it because I don't ever think I've had them sitting over the top of the uh, the uh, bottom portion. So we might have to count these as we go. We might have got lucky and got a few extra cards. I don't know. What I was trying to say is I've never had it sitting over top of this ledge. It looked like I had a couple cards hanging over the top, so. I don't know. Maybe we got lucky and got a couple extra. We'll see. I'm going to put my little block there, and we'll get started. Best of luck to you guys. This is where the, the fun kicks in, I feel like. Uh, Felipe Franks right off the bat. This is a QB for Atlanta. In all honesty, I'm sure there's some people ready for Matt Ryan to go somewhere else or put it up or something. So you never know when old Felipe may get another shot. I think he's like 0 for 1 with an interception right now, though. <laughs> I 
another free agent QB, Jamie Newman. Uh, he may be like a good Canadian Football League prospect there at this point because I think the Eagles cut him. Uh, but this card will go to the Eagles. I don't know what that was. Slide down in there. Because uh, it looks like Philadelphia picked him up when this card was created. Osiris Mitchell for the Dallas Cowboys. I've plucked his auto out a few times. Another free agent. That's three free agents in a row. Come on now. Christian Upoff for the Green Bay Packers. Safety. Free agent pickup. This is not always how it goes. We'll get into some... <laughs> we we'll get some drafted guys here sooner or later, surely. Uh, Brendan Knox. Well, not yet. Free agent running back for the Dallas Cowboys. I promise it's not how every card's going to be unless we get scammed here. Tony Pullian tied in for Baltimore. We're getting some random ones. I don't pull this guy a lot. Hey, we got a draft pick coming up. It's a number one, too. Oh, it ain't bad, actually. I'm looking at it now. Not a bad one coming up. Hello, Kadarius Tony, 20th pick of the draft to the New York Giants. This one's numbered 3 of 25. Very nice. Uh, he has to manually put the number on there, I guess. So That's why he got it in blue writing on the sticker. Pretty cool. I think he might have got a mark on there in excess of the the number, so, but still, cool to get a numbered card of a high draft pick like that, next up, we got Tommy Togai, Togaya, defensive tackle for the Browns, I have the most trouble sometimes with these cards, I'm not sure if the edges are just a little rough or what. I'm assuming so, because they put them in that case like that. Uh, Jonathan Cooper looks like he played for Ohio State. He's a D lineman for the Denver Broncos. Yeah, the Ohio State University. I feel like the NFL is like... Ohio State, Alabama, and LSU. There's a Chuba Hubbard. Not too bad for the Panthers. I don't know if I pulled this one before. Cameron McGrone. Definitely haven't. A linebacker for the New England Patriots. Fifth round pick. It is interesting. I mean, Micah Parsons is in here, and I always say he was a really tough auto to pull. Last time I looked on eBay, there was, like, none available for sale. There's probably one at this point, but I looked, like, two weeks ago, and there had been, like, 10 or 12 sales of his auto, but there wasn't any readily available. So that could be another guy where he just doesn't have a lot of autos pulled, but his card may be worth a few bucks just because it's hard to pull in the first place. Got a rainbow foil of Dax Milne, almost the last pick of the draft for the Washington football team. What is that they call Mr. Irrelevant? Is that like pick 259 or something like that? Oh, sick! We got a one of one. I've never pulled a one of one. Okay, I thought I had another card there for a second. Tevin Jenkins for the Chicago Bears. Boy, if you didn't know any better, it almost looks like one of those silvers, but it's... Let's see if it'll say on the box what color that is. Uh, it doesn't say anything. I don't even know what color you would call that. Maybe Platinum 101? Kind of looks like a platinum -y color. That's awesome. I have not pulled a one one yet. We've opened a bunch of these boxes, but very nice. 
that offensive lineman for the Bears. Anytime you get a 1-1, one -one, that's cool. I actually pulled a 1-1 one -one the other day out of basketball. Oh, sick. Back-to-back. -back. Decent cards. <laughs> Got a Trevor Lawrence. Nice. That looks like they might have... I didn't realize the stickers had an outline where you're supposed to put them, but it looks like they might have missed the outline by a hair there. But still, Trevor Lawrence auto uh, should pay for the Jaguars spot uh, pretty easily there. If I remember right, these are close to 100 bucks a piece, or I don't know, they may be a little less now or a little more. Who knows? But I think I looked maybe two or three weeks ago there around 100 Very nice back-to-back -back there. Got an Andre Sisko. Rainbow Foil. He's pick number 65 for the Jaguars. I'll take this box. We had a Kadarius Tony out of 25. Got a one-of-one one early drafted lineman for the Bears. And a Trevor Lawrence auto so far. And we still got three or four cards left at least. Mark Webb. Cornerback pickup by the Chargers in the seventh round. <clears throat> I cannot clear my throat today. Right, we're getting kind of low here, so I'm going to have to slide these up onto the sleeve and help pick them up there. Uh, Jake Funk, he's in a lot of boxes. Let me make sure I get another card. Jake Funk, the Los Angeles Rams. So we got some early round guys. We did get some seventh rounders and free agents, stuff like that as well. Hopefully we can squeak out one more decent one at least. I think we've got at least two more. I think I just grabbed two of them. Uh, Sam Cosme, second round pick for the Washington football team. And Jared Dokes, another seventh rounder. He went to Miami. Oh, we still have two cards, I think, back there. So we'll count these cards afterwards. Like I said, it felt like we had more cards than 20. In the box, so maybe we got a little lucky with this this box and had a couple of extras, but we'll see. I'm going to slide them this way because I can't get my fingers back there anymore. A KJ Costello, a quarterback for the Chargers. I don't know that he'll ever get a shot over there at this point. Or, you know, he may not even be playing for them now, but it's like he last played for Mississippi State. And I got one more card here. It's John Bates, fourth round tight end, drafted by the Washington football team. Not bad. I'm going to go back real quick and count. We got another box to open, but I want to count these real quick because I'm pretty sure it felt like we had more than 20. That could be wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we did have 21 there. The box it does say 21 on it, but I always advertise it as 20. Because I'm pretty sure most of the time the breaks I've seen and the boxes that I've opened uh, have had 20 in them. So, like I said, it does say 21. But the first couple breaks I watched on YouTube before I was doing these, they only opened 20 autos. So, I think that's the first time I've actually counted them. All right, not too bad for the first one. Got Trevor Lawrence auto. Got that one of one for the Bears. And then the Kadarius Tony, which I think he's had some injuries or something this year, but uh, he was the 20th pick in the draft. And I got one out of 25 for him, so that was nice. Again, we got the little weird clear stickers. And this box, kind of the same thing. He's kind of sitting high up, so maybe I'm just delusional. Maybe it's always been 21. And I didn't count those breaks right. But I vividly remember uh, the breaks I watched. I counted. I watched two different breaks, and I counted 20 uh, cards come out of each box. So, I don't know. 
Maybe it's always been 21 for us. I just don't pay attention. If you saw the back card, don't tell nobody. I think I might see some gold in there. Let me slide it around. I don't know if you guys can see very well. Don't quote me, but it looks like it might have a gold in there. <clears throat> I don't think bronze really looks like that. Bronze is kind of orangish. We'll see. It's probably bronze. I'm probably delusional again. Aspire 2021 football. If you're looking for Aspire 2020 football, I don't think it exists. I've looked for it as well. So this may be like inaugural year for this stuff. I feel like a lot of stuff, this is the first year for it. But the first one is Jamie Newman. So we got a Jamie Newman in each box tonight. It's exciting. Dylan Stoner for the Raiders. You know, with the whole rug situation, I'm not sure he may be on the active roster. He may even play. I have no idea. Christian Uphoff. We got him again for the Packers. We haven't pulled any natural Dean, I don't think, tonight. He's usually in every single box. He's sneaking away from us today. Next up. Uh, oh, gosh, why are we getting so many of the same guys? Brendan Knox for the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, cool for you guys that have those teams, but even some of you I'm thinking are probably wishing we saw some different guys other than a bunch of the same free agent pickups. Uh, next one looks like it might be new. Oh, Deami Brown, not too bad for the Washington football team. He's a pretty early pick in the draft. It's like mid-third round there. Pick 82. I'll take that. Washington has quite a few guys in here. <clears throat> oh, I haven't seen this one in a long time. I'm not sure what's going on with that auto there, but very nice one for the Falcons. A little Kyle Pitts. Yeah, I'm not real sure what his strategy was with his auto. It's really left-hand centered on the sticker there, and not to get all picky and stuff, it just. Come on, man. What does that show? Is that Boomer that said all that? Come on, man. All right, next up, we got uh, Dalen Hayes. Uh, another one I haven't pulled that I remember. Nice rainbow foil for the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, here's a pretty low draft pick for the Arizona Cardinals. Zayvon Collins. I like it. Pick number 16. I'm not sure how well he's playing. I don't see him talked about like a Micah Parsons type deal or anything like that, but I don't like that sleeve. But anytime you get an early linebacker drafted, it's good to snag an auto like that. A lot of times defensive players, they got to really prove themselves for multiple years before anybody really gives a, a hoot about them. Uh, Kylan Hill, seventh round pick for the Green Bay Packers. Man, I'm hoping I wasn't tricked there. I'm starting to think that those golds might have been uh, bronzes. I hope not. Oh, Nick Bolton, that's a solid one for the Chiefs. Don't pull him too much. Maybe three or four times since we started doing these breaks. Nice thick pin, though. Kind of cool. Most of the other guys are got a thin, fine pin. Jalen Camp, receiver for the Jacksonville Jaguars. <clears throat> Come on. Throw me a gold. Oh, I think we do have a gold. Uh, Larry Borum for the Chicago Bears. I tell you what, looking at this next card coming up, uh, the Chicago Bears tonight 
had a break that far out exceeds any team that I've ever had in one of these Aspire breaks. I don't understand what I'm saying here in just a second, but I don't think I've ever seen a team have such success. Got Justin Fields, 10 of 10. Gold. Very nice. Chicago just tore it up tonight. They had the one-of-one one lineman, and then uh, they got this one, and they've had, like, a couple other just, like, random dudes. This is a monster. Well, I say a monster. I mean, I don't know the value of it exactly, but to pull a gold period out of here is tough, so that's very awesome. If I can get in a sleeve carefully. Tell you what, these cards sometimes have a little edge issues since they're in those little cases but I don't figure a lot of people are grading them they're just like trading and stuff but it does have like little edge wear and stuff that is awesome though that's the biggest like uh, numbered card by far I've pulled out of these boxes probably the first quarterback honestly and for it to be a goal that's sweet Justin Fields 10 of 10, pick 10, but his number's 1. We can add a 0. We can draw a 0 on his jersey there. It'd be 10, too. That's sick, nasty. I think I got a little stand over here. We can just stand that one up. Well, we stand off in the corner. Stand off in the corner here when we finish out the break. I like it. 10 of 10. All right. Oh, I think we got another decent one coming up here. Caleb Farley. For the Titans, that would probably be the best card the Titans would snag out of here. He's a first-round pick. We're rolling now. This has been one of the better Aspire breaks I've had. <clears throat> For sure. We still got like three or four cards left. I think I just picked up three. I tried to pick up one at a time, but... All right, well, we got Mark Webb for the Chargers. I think we got him in the last box. Uh, here's a different one. Stevie Scott, the third, free agent for the Saints. And then we got Sam Cosby. I think we might have had him as well in the other box. I can't remember for sure. A pretty early pick for the Washington football team. Like I said, Washington usually has a few guys in here. Dang, I'm still excited about that. Justin Fields. We've had a good couple weeks of breaks. Like I said, we pulled the Trevor Lawrence last night. We got Trevor Lawrence tonight. Got the Fields 10 to 10. Uh, we had a one of one out of select hanger box the other night. About two weeks ago, we pulled... Three case hits out of one select basketball hanger box. And a little bit before that, we we had two kabooms almost on back-to-back -back absolute breaks. So, I don't know. It's been a pretty good run here lately. Doesn't always happen that way. There's Demetric Felton. For the Browns. It looks like we got two cards left. So, let's see what we got here. Probably going to be tough to top the fields 10 out of 10, but you never know. Uh, another KJ Costello. Fortunately, these boxes were somewhat similar. Aside from some of the bigger players. Forgot we got Kyle Pitts in here, too. That was nice. We had multiple first rounders in this box. And our last card. Of the evening. If I can get it on the sleeve so I can pick it up. Uh, it's John Bates. Another Washington. At least I think we might have even had him in the last box. Probably had six or eight of these guys in back-to-back -back boxes there. Well, I got a fat sack of cards over here that we can run through. Uh, definitely a couple teams that didn't do so hot in the break. Um, but... I know a lot of you guys bought multiple teams. I appreciate that. So hopefully, if maybe one of your two or three teams or five teams or whatever didn't do so hot, um, maybe the other one made up for it. But we'll do a little recap here, and then I'll let you guys go. We'll save that one for last. That was exciting. 10 of 10. 
I'm pretty even killed, dude. So uh, my excitement level doesn't usually show a whole lot, but I'm pretty giddy inside right now. So Mark Webb, Andre Cisco got the Trevor Lawrence auto. It's a, a bronze parallel, I believe is what they call it. There's the one of one, Tevin Jenkins. Uh, I'm not sure what they technically term this car. They don't really have a lot of info on the box with all that, uh, like odds and stuff. But I would call it a platinum one of one. I'll try to look it up and see, see what I can find. But uh, Dax Milne Rainbow got a Cameron McGrone Auto, Chuba Hubbard, Jonathan Cooper Rainbow, Tommy Tagaya, uh, Kadarius Tony number three of twenty five, Tony Pullian. Brennan Knox, Christian Uphoff, Osiris Mitchell, Jamie Newman, Felipe Franks. Uh, then we had some Absolute cards. Absolute didn't really do a whole lot for us, unfortunately, tonight, but we did have some, some decent ones. Got a Micah Parsons rookie, Trey Lance, Zach Wilson, uh, Fryermuth for the Steelers. Nice rookie force uh, mem card. Another Zach Wilson, a Davis Mills introductions rookie, Javante Williams by Storm, and a Trevor Lawrence rookie. And back to some more Aspire autos. John Bates, KJ Costello, Demetric Felton, Mark Webb, Stevie Scott, Sam Cosme, Caleb Farley, Larry Borum, Jalen Camp, Nick Bolton, not a bad one there, Kylan Hill, Zabin Collins, first rounder. Uh, Dalen Hayes. There's the Kyle Pitts, first round. Deami Brown, pretty early draft pick. Brennan Knox. Christian Uphoff. Dylan Stoner. Another Jamie Newman. John Bates. Another KJ Costello. Sam Cosme. Jared Dokes. And Jake Funk. And the big one for the night. Like I said, I'm not sure the value on it. I'm assuming the base, like the regular reds or bronze fields autos go for... I don't know, probably north of 50 bucks at least. So I'd assume this one's a pretty decent multiplier of that, hopefully. But nice gold 10 of 10. Looks really cool. I uh, got the gold foil to it. But that was a big one tonight. And it was a big one. Probably the biggest, uh, one of the biggest cards I pulled out of here. We pulled quite a few Mac Jones autos. I don't think we pulled a numbered one, but the rainbow foils are usually pretty sweet looking. But anyways... Uh, pretty rowdy little night for Sunday. Appreciate you guys jumping in. Uh, if anybody needs anything, just shoot me a message on eBay or Facebook. If you need top loaders, holler at me. I've got some. I've got a bunch of top loaders that I'm slowly moving. So, anyways, you guys take it easy. Have a nice start to your week, and uh, we'll catch you next time. There's breaks every week, every day this week. So, see you guys later.